Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to create a login and app sheet. So the very first thing that you should do is you have to open any of your web browser and then you just have to search for app sheet and then you just have to log in to your account. Okay, so after logging in, you'd be able to see here now your apps and your databases. So what we are going to do here is we are going to create a new app and I'm going to show you on how you can create a login. Okay, so as you can see, I have different apps right here. So let me just click on the create option and you can start with existing data, start with a template or start with a blank app. So for this one, I think I'm going to start with a template. And right here, you have different templates you can use for your new app so i think i am going to use this one so you just have to preview or copy this template and then after that just click on copy app okay so just wait for a couple of seconds and after that you'll be able to see here now your app and at the right side this is the um, preview of your app and just have to wait until it is 100 percent Okay, and then after that, you can now customize this new app. Okay, so we have these options right here at the bottom. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is to simply click on the um, security option at the left side of our screen. Okay, so this one right here. And right here, you have the required sign in with security filters, domain authentication, and the options. Now, for the required sign in option, control who can access the app. So, require user sign in. So, you have to toggle the switch on for this one. So that even if you are going to send this link publicly, it will require the users to sign in first. And manage their access so for the authentication provider we have any provider Google Microsoft Apple Dropbox Smartsheet box and Salesforce so for this one I'm going to select Google and if you would like to allow all sign-in users so you have to toggle the switch on for this one so if this option is enabled there is no need for a user to there's no need for a user list so enable this option when you do not need to restrict access to a specific list okay so when you toggle the switch in for this one you can see here a warning and if this is a public app you have to toggle the switch in for this one and if yes you have an authorized to set up a public app so you have to toggle the switch in for this one as well so i'm just going to toggle the switch off for this one next you just have to manage the user so right here you can add emails or domains or you can also share the links so when you click on the share links option you have these options install and mobile link open and browser link and view copy or edit links so you just have to copy these links and send it to your teammate for the security filters we have this one and then if you would like to require a domain authentication you have to toggle the switch on for this one and then for the authentication domain source you just have to select your source and then the authentication display name so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye